In this video, we are going to talk about the top 3 stocks which you should buy right now. And also, we will discuss the fundamental analysis behind each of these stocks. Hello everyone, my name is Nikhil and in this particular channel, we talk mainly about investing as a beginner. We talk about education and career related topics. And we talk about topics which are related to productivity. So, if you are someone who is new to this particular channel, feel free to subscribe to watch more of the future videos. Now, these stocks, you should actually keep them in your radar. This is not from an investment point of view, but purely from a case study point of view. So you are able to understand the fundamentals of each of these stocks. Also, if you are an intraday trader who trades maybe in two minutes interval or maybe in a half a day interval, then this video might not add a lot of value to you purely because the stocks which I'm going to mention are purely the top buying stocks right now, but from a long term investment point of view. So the very first stock is Bajaj Auto. Now, Bajaj Auto is actually a leading manufacturer for two-wheelers and three-wheelers in India. So, they are the ones who actually make the autos, motorcycles and scooters in India. Bajaj Auto is actually backed by Bajaj Group, which is one of the oldest and largest companies in India itself. Talking about the stock price of Bajaj Auto, it is currently trending at 4,144 rupees. If you see the last one-year performance, they are currently trending near the 52-week high range. Talking about the market cap of the company, Bajaj Auto has a market cap of 120,000 crore rupees. If you're not sure what market cap means, it is basically the value of all the shares of the company. So in this particular case, each share has a value of 4,144 rupees. And if you multiply that with all the shares of the company, that will give you the market cap of the company. So any company which has a market cap of more than 20,000 crore rupees is considered to be a large cap company. And in this particular case, Considering that Bajaj Auto has a market cap of 120,000 crore rupees, it is a large cap company in India. Next, talking about the return on equity, it is basically a measure of understanding how efficient the company is in terms of producing profit for its shareholders. So, in simple terms, it is basically the profit of the company divided by the equity of the company. So, your equity is basically your assets minus your liabilities. So, this helps you understand how well the company is actually doing. Because in case of return on equity, we do not take into consideration the price of the stock. So it does not matter the price of the stock is going up or down. We actually take into consideration how well the company is actually performing and not how well the stock is performing. So Bajaj Auto has a return on equity of 17.8%. If you actually compare that with the market average or with other companies in the same sector, the market average is roughly about 10%. A great benchmark that you can look into is that if a company has more than 14% return on equity, then it can be considered as a good buy. Also, the company has zero debt right now. So it does not owe money to anyone. And finally, looking into the shareholdings of the company, 53% of the shareholdings is currently held by the promoters of the company. That means 53% of the shares is currently held by the promoters itself, which shows the stability of the business. So definitely Bajaj Auto is one of the top three buys right now in 2021. Now, the second stock which you should be monitoring is HDFC Life. Now, HDFC Life is one of the leading insurance service providers in India. Now, as you all know, insurance as a sector is a growing sector. And over the last 2-3 years, insurance has had a huge demand as well. So, definitely investing in an insurance stock is highly recommended. So, talking about the stock price of HDFC Life, it is currently trending at 681 rupees per share. So, if you see the last 1 year momentum, it is actually trending near the 52 week high range. Talking about the market cap of the company, HDFC Life has a market cap of 137,000 crore rupees. So definitely this is considered to be a large cap company because it has a market cap of more than 20,000 crore rupees. Now talking about the return on equity, return on equity of HDFC Life is at 17.6% in comparison to other companies which are in the same sector with an average of 12%. And finally, if you look at the shareholdings of the company, the shareholdings of the company in terms of what promoters have is at 58%. So 58% of the business is currently held by the promoters. And this again shows the stability of the business. Now the third and the final stock which you should be monitoring is Dixon Technologies. Now Dixon is actually the second largest electronics maker in India. They have tie with multiple different companies like Samsung, Motorola, Philips, Panasonic, Xiaomi, Nokia, etc. So they provide electronic solutions to these companies. They also provide security system, home appliances, etc. They are actually the leading manufacturer for LED TVs in India. 
So if you actually check the share price of Dixon Technology, it is currently trending at 4,175 rupees. Over the last one year, the stock has done really well with a 52 week low at 967 rupees per share and a 52 week high at 4,457 rupees per share. Now the currently stock is trending near the 52 week high range itself. Next looking into the market cap of the company, the market cap of this particular company is at 24,000 crore rupees. So it is also a large cap company itself. And now looking into the return on equity. So Dixon Technology has given a return on equity of 25%. So if you actually compare that with other companies in the same sector, they have given a return on equity of 12% to 13%. Now this is mainly because electronics as a sector has been purely boomed over the last one to two years. And finally looking into the shareholdings of the company, 35% of the shares are currently held by the promoters of the business itself. Now all of these above stocks have given a really strong quarterly result as well. Now this is not from an investment point of view, but this is purely from a case study point of view. So you are able to keep them in your radar. Also, if you would like to learn how to trade, I would definitely recommend you check out this particular video where I explain step by step methods of how you can learn trading for completely free of charge. So do check out this particular video and also if you found this particular video useful, do like it, do subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.